Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in statics and we're going to be solving problem 9.1, okay? It says, locate the center of mass of the homogeneous rod bent into the shape of a circular arc. Okay, so what we have in here is that we have the circular arc. Uh, we know that the radius is 300 millimeters. We have that uh, it goes beyond this 180 by 30 in this direction and 30 degrees also in this direction. Okay, and what we're tasked to find is basically the center of mass. Where is the center of mass of this whole bent rod? Okay, so in other words, we're trying to locate what is our X bar and our Y bar for this chapter 9. Now, um, the formula to find the location, for example, in this case of X bar is equal to the integral of X bar times the change of what we're finding in this case they're saying hey the center of mass so usually we would do dm as like the change in mass but since the mass is equal for this rod all around this length of arc which they actually try to imply to us hey the circular arc so this length of arc I'm going to change that and we're going to add it for like the change of length, okay? The, this length is the length of the arc. And then the formula keeps going by dividing all of that by the integral of the change in the same um, thing as here. So if we're using the change in mass, we would use the change in mass, but in this case, the change of the length, okay? So this is how we're going to solve this problem. but First of all, I want us to check if there is any symmetry. Now, if I draw a line in the y-axis, is there any symmetry with what's on the left and what's on the right? In this case, it's a no. But if we draw a line on the x-axis, is there symmetry of what is on top and what's in the bottom? And in this case, it's a yes, meaning that the mass above the x-axis is the same as the mass below the x-axis. And what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that the location of our center of mass should be right in the x location, meaning my y bar in this case should be equal to zero. And that's just due because of symmetry. So this should be because of symmetry. We have that the center of mass in regards to the y location is equal to zero millimeters okay so we solved the first one now let's find out the second one since there is no symmetry right what well, we're going to have to do is utilize this equation so the first thing is uh first of all let me correct this formula this should be on my arbitrary x not my location of x so what is my arbitrary x location and by arbitrary, what they mean is like, hey, what happens if I arbitrarily choose that point or if I choose the, this point over here? So in order to find that one, well, what we can do is utilize our right triangle equation. So let's say I choose that point over here. Then what is that distance x from here to here, right? Well, what we can do is we have the radius of that circle, right? And we can give this an angle. So that distance over here is going to be equal to my radius or my hypotenuse, which is equal to 300, multiplied by the cosine of that angle theta. Second, we are going to change, we, we're going to find the change in length. But first we need to know what's the equation for the length, the arc length. Well, the arc length is usually the radius times the angle that in this case we decided to call theta. Since we know the radius is equal to 300, we can call it 300 times theta. Now, this is the length itself. We want the change in length. That means that the change in length has to be equal to 300. 300 is a constant times the change in theta. Now that we have this, we have everything that we can plug into our equation. We get our arbitrary x and our change in length. So we can say, hey, my x bar it's going to be equal to the integral of arbitrary x, which is 300 times the cosine of theta, multiplied by the change in length, which is 300, 
d theta. So changing theta. Now, what are the boundary location of this? So what is our a and b for this integral? So let's look at our problem again, and we'll see that we can start from here and end in here, right? So if we do all this angular movement. So what is the value of this angle? So just to so you guys are aware, we, we need to deal with radians. We cannot use this unless we want to do that. We'll have to do something more complicated, which we're going to avoid. Now, I'm going to cheat this time, and then I'm going to grab this unit circle, and then I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I found this online, this unit circle, and I'm going to find, hey, this angle, 240, is equal to 4 pi over 3. So we're going to start at 4 pi over 3, and we're going to finish at this angle, which is 2 pi over 3. So we're going to put 2 pi over 3, okay? And we're going to divide all of this by my integral. That, by the way, it starts and ends at the same spot. So from 4 pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. And we're going to multiply by, I'm sorry, we're going to do the integral of 300 times the change of theta, okay? Now, we have integrals set up what we can do is plug them into our calculator and what the first one will give me is equal to um 155 thousands with 884 and 57 decimals so in the decimal 0.57 and the bottom integral is going to give me a total of 1,256.64. Now, these guys, I'm rounding them up over here to writing them on down. But when I'm finding the final answer, I'm not, I'm not actually rounding them up or down. And when we plug these two numbers into our calculator, I get 124.05. And the answer should be in millimeters. Now... I'm going to write it down over here and I'm going to consider how many significance figures I should work, should use. Well, the only value they give me here is 300 millimeters. That doesn't have any decimal points. So I'm going to follow the same thing, 124 millimeters for my location in X. And just like that, we found out our X location. And don't forget that previously we found out that due to symmetry, how my Y location is equal to 0 millimeters. And this is the end of our problem. So I hope you guys like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.